The timing beats the previous record of 127 miles per hour set by American Fred Marriott in a Stanley steam car at the Daytona Beach Road Course in 1906. All those years on, it was Charles Burnett III at the wheel. We were up against the wall because uh, we only had one more day to go, and it seemed like we were going slower and slower every day. The Air Force was really good to us. They, they extended the, the runway by, uh, by a mile, so we could, we could coordinate exactly where, where our top speed was going to be with the, with the measurement. And we basically took the American uh, national record, the American national kilo, and the world record. Top speed was 151 miles an hour, so I think we've shown pretty well that English engineers are unequal throughout the world when it comes to steam engines.